All right, guys, this video is going to be a bit of a uh, update on the uh, Pioneer CS410 that I started working on a while ago. Uh, this is all I'm going to show you of them now. Um, they are coming along, but there's been some snags along the way. Uh, getting the, I uh, uh, got the crossovers and everything worked out and designed, and then started with these budget tweeters, and this is where the issues uh been getting frustrating and i'll probably end up just switching to a whole different better quality tweeter uh just to avoid this but in the future this may help some of you that are thinking about using some of these budget grs and goldwood tweeters as you can see i have three uh grs 1td2-8 tweeters and i have two uh goldwood gt525 now these tweeters look almost identical oops as you can see um, they're pretty much the exact same tweeter. Um, the GRS ones are a little bit cheaper and supposedly of a little bit cheaper quality uh, where the Goldwood is supposed to be, I guess, the more premium version of it. And I think these run about 8 bucks. These run about 10 bucks on Parts Express. And I believe th it was these two were... My, I don't remember that exactly, but it doesn't matter. Uh, initially ordered... For these speakers and I uh, had a uh, buzzing issue with one or with yeah with one the other one didn't really seem to do it so I ordered a third one because you know maybe you just get a bad one once in a while I very rarely get defective speakers but it happens and uh, put it in and it does the exact same buzzing issue we'll get to here in a minute and I also noticed when I was putting the second one in and doing testing with that, the other one uh, started to, it doesn't do it nearly as bad, but it is also starting to get this like buzzing sound, uh, <coughs> mostly only during songs that have piano in them. So right now, this one uh, is, uh, oops, nope, it's this one, is a GRS. And when I first got them in, set up everything, everything sounded fine. I actually went through quite a few songs, and they sounded fine. And then I got to uh, one of my main test songs, which is Adele's Turning Tables. It has a, a piano at the intro that uh, I have found off time will expose a bad tweeter or bad mid-range. So I'm going to play something for you. I think it's this one. You know, it sounds pretty good, sounds clean, it's not really doing anything weird. Sounds like an $8 tweeter. Now, uh, these are going through a first order crossover um, at 2300 hertz. Um, so I'm not just running them directly. There is a crossover here that was I designed on Xover Pro for these drivers and now we'll go to hear that like distortion just terrible all distorted i think there's another song on here that does it as well see not every song does it it really always seems like it's one with piano Here we go right to the one I use a lot of times. I'm not going to play the song for very long because I don't want to get a copyright strike or something. But listen to the piano at the beginning of the song on this tweeter. Just tons of distortion. Sounds terrible. And then here's another Adele song. Sounds fine. Obviously, it's just certain uh, frequency range and tones that are causing it. But depending on what music you listen to, sometimes this can slip by. Um, that's why after I build speakers, I test them with many songs. Sometimes I'll listen to over 
you know, 100 songs, making sure that this kind of stuff doesn't happen, because a lot of times I sell these speakers. So what we'll do now, is we'll pull this one out. We'll stick him up here for now. Yeah, both of these are that bad. This GRS does it too, but not nearly as bad. Um, uh, you, you, it's definitely there, but you do have to listen to it a little bit more. And then the, the two gold woods. I don't remember which one is bad, so we'll just have to hook them both up here. I'll stick him back in there. Switch back to playlists. No distortion. No buzzing. We'll go back to that Adele song. Uh, it's Adele's turning tables. This is how it should sound. See, this is the good one. This one's fine. So far, out of five tweeters, granted they are different brands, but of the same model, um, I've only gotten one good one out of five. Let's see. We'll stick him in. This should be the bad gold wood. Yeah, I don't have to run that too long to notice it. And then we'll go back to Adele turning tables on this one. Ugh. So. Be careful when buying some of these budget tweeters. Keep your receipts. T check them right away. Um, I can't remember Parts Express return uh, policy right off the top of my head, but don't let them sit around for a long time uh, and uh, then find out that they're, they have issues. Uh, luckily, I've done a lot of business with Parts Express. I've been buying speakers and parts from them since for the last, I don't know, 18 years. Um, they refunded my money on all three of these because all three of them are bad. And I haven't contacted them about the Goldwoods yet, but these will, I just got these today. And uh, this time, these sat around. I had these for a little while while I was still working on the speakers and I didn't know they were bad. So uh, usually I, I broke my own rule. Usually I test the stuff the day I get it and make sure it's good. And then I'll let it sit as I get to it. But uh, these... I tested them immediately, and as you've seen, one of them's fine, the other one is terrible. So I'm gonna send both the Goldwood back and probably just go with the hi -Vi or something, uh, another brand that's a little more expensive, but I've had a lot better luck with, so. Unfortunately, it's just gonna prolong the Pioneer CS410 project longer, and it's it's not it's taking so long because it's not a priority project, it's just something I work at on the side a little bit here and there, so. Hope you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for other stuff like this, and I also did test both of these tweeters, or run them through the DATS V3 system um, to get their measurements and stuff, and I, for the GRS 1TD2-8, I did, on the one that was good, or mostly good, I upload or I posted the measurements in uh, my comments. For that on Parts Express and out on uh, the Goldwood GT525 on the good one, which is this one, I'm gonna test it with the DAS V3 and also uh, post the measurements in my Parts Express comments. So, all right, see you later, guys.